Edwards is rich with history. On September 21, 1964, the XB-70 Valkyrie experimental aircraft made its first flight from Plant 42 in Palmdale to Edwards. Originally developed as a strategic bomber with the ability to cruise at Mach 3 speeds, the two aircraft built only served as joint Air Force-NASA high-speed research vehicles. On September 29, 1990, the YF-22 prototype made its first flight. Later nicknamed Raptor, the aircraft featured a variety of highly advanced technologies and was fitted with internal weapons bays. On September 15, 1991, the McDonnell Douglas C-17 Globemaster III made its first flight. The wide-bodied heavy lifter was flown to Edwards from the Douglas facility in Long Beach. During September 1992, a B-2 stealth bomber conducted successful in-flight weapons release tests. The tests marked the first release of conventional bomb shapes from a rotary launcher assembly on any aircraft type. On September 11, 2002, the CV-22 Osprey resumed flight testing after a 21-month grounding. The versatile tilt rotor aircraft flew three sorties totaling over four hours of flying time and successfully transitioned its nacelles into a forward position. On September 8, 2005, a production crew began filming an episode of the award-winning series Monk. About 50 Edwards personnel worked as extras on the show, which included the use of an F-22 Raptor. On September 29, 2005, a C-17 Globemaster III dropped a Mach Air Launch rocket booster from 6,000 feet over the Edwards Precision Impact Range Area. The full-scale mock-up vehicle was for DARPA's Falcon Small Launch Vehicle Program. And on the evening of September 11, 2009, the Space Shuttle Discovery and its crew of seven touched down at Edwards. The primary mission of STS-128 was to deliver the multi-purpose logistics module Leonardo to the International Space Station. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.